So here we are in the home of Alma Crawler in Via Dana in Northern Italy, and I'm delighted to be joined here with the key account manager for Ireland and the UK, Oana. And Oana, the first machine that we sold into Ireland was the GB1250. Yes, it was. And you guys are constantly innovating, new designs, uh, new machines that can help the industry perform better, better productivity, better end result. And uh, we're standing here, one of your latest creations here. Absolutely. Tell me all about this machine. Okay. Well, um, as you know, we came up with the concept of the Jibby line um, four years ago, basically. So the 1250, which has been massive success for us, was the original design. We then last year added um, the big sister, so the 16 meter steel boom um, um, Jibby, which is basically identical to the 1250 you mentioned, just bigger. Uh, let's just say supersized. Um, what happened there was we have a perfectly um, uh, rental machine, rental piece of equipment, but in some rental fleets and for some rental company owners as well as for end users, transportability is a key consideration when they are purchasing equipment. So what we found after we came out with this 3.85 ton machine, the GB1670 that, I, I was, that I'm talking about, was that um, a lot of our distributors and clients were looking for something that was still transportable by trailer, which is a key feature in Almac machines. So here comes the Jibby U1570. Now this is a, is a Jibby in all in all, but it is a project that we worked on with Multitel Paliero because they actually provided the, the technology, the aluminum technology to create this boom that you see behind us. Um, so as I said, primarily we built it for um, to lower the weight. This is a 2.9 ton machine, so it, it is now transportable by trailer, very important, low ground pressure. But at the same time, uh, we managed to get an extra full meter in outreach. Uh, as you know, we have variable outreach on our GP, so that means that the load sensor in the basket will um, decide or calculate in real time how much outreach you get. And on this one, you can get up to 9.6 meters in outreach. So easy to get around from site to site, less weight and more reach. Absolutely. So, Oana, here we are with the Jibby. And what I love about the Jibby is that the great accessibility you have, the fantastic way that the tracks extend out to give you that stability and the way it's so easily get around. Now, in the heart of this machine, you have this engine. Tell me all about it. So, uh, you know this, uh, maybe they don't, but all of our Jibbys, they have um, Yanmar engines, you know, Japanese technology. Uh, this is a three cylinder, 14.1 kilowatt uh, power engine. Um, it is an amazing engine. It's done really well in our machines. We've had great performance reviews on them, so we're sticking to that. And it's the fact, the reason why you'll now find it on our Billeniums, for example. Um, obviously, um, our Jibbies uh, also have an electric pump, either a 110 or a 220 volt electric pump. You can always plug your machine in just right here and work in electric, uh, which will give you a reduction in consumption, obviously, so you, you don't need to actually use the, the engine for um, working inside or working around your job site. But at the same time, it's also noise. Uh, when you're working in an urban environment, um, something that uh, can be um, a deal breaker in getting a job is actually being able to provide a machine that will not interrupt, let's just say, urban life. Great, so once again, plenty of power, less emissions, and of course, less noise in that urban environment or working the machine indoors. Exactly. So, Oana, one of the things I find from in the rental industry, in the plant industry, guys are always complaining about, oh God, get on the job site, I gotta set the machine up, drop the jack legs down, get it into position, do all the lights come on, is it stable, is it safe? But the great thing about the Jibbies is you've done away with all that, and it's to do with your unique uh, track design. Explain more. Um, you know, what, these tracks, the ones you have your foot on, they're actually the longest, widest in the industry on this kind of machinery, on this kind of height, working height. Now, um, the Jibby uh, U1570 shares the undercarriage with the Jibby 1670. So we're talking about a machine that starts off with a width of 135 and then has three additional, what you would call apertures, track openings. You get up to 190 and then 
at 190 you have the full lateral uh, outreach you go to 210 and 245 maximum is 245 that's literally a parking lot and what we were looking there was to give um, not only ease of use through the fact that you are not manually interfering with the um, stabilization of the of the of the machine itself but also uh, the ability the flexibility to be able to get into situations that required you to go in with a width under the two meters that's why we've got the one nine um, and what we've noticed is clients really appreciate the ability to um, let's just say uh, adapt the jibby to what they need uh, also because at the same time you might be um, you might be uh, opening the tracks on one side more than the other so this kind of flexibility has really um, has really impacted the way in which our uh, operators work in a positive way. And the great thing I love about this is because one of our clients in Ireland, the electricity supply board mm -hmm. that are using these machines, is that if you just slightly move one track in by 1%, it creates a kill zone. Yeah. So if you want to work even that more safely, so if you have a high power line or an area where you can't go, you don't have to switch off valves, you don't have to disconnect switches, you can just 1% in on your controller within seconds and you have this huge degree of safety. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what we always say um, is it's, it's very easy to know at exactly what aperture you're at. And a lot of clients ask me, well, what happens if I'm, I've opened them? I haven't actually heard you get an alarm, you get a beep. I haven't actually heard the beep. So what I say to them is, that's fine. The machine will think it's in the original aperture. So there's no safety risks there because it's only going to allow you to do what it had already um, um, uh, uh, calculated as being safe. So that's what connects to what you were saying. Once you're at 190 and you're moving towards 210, if you do not reach 210, it will still continue to function as though it is a 190. If you do reach the 210, it will beep, you know you're at 210, and between 210 and 245, you'll be working at 210, just to give you an idea of that, what that means. So the tracks are in when the machine is on the back of the trailer, on the back of your Jeep, you arrive on the job site, you take it off the trailer, tracks out into position, you're at work. I've done this, it takes minutes. I know, and you can also open the tracks while you're actually traveling to your work position. And of course, another thing is that when the tracks are out and you're high up in the air working, say doing street lights here, you can go onto the next street light and you don't have to come back down, push the tracks in, lift up legs, you just move on to the next street light. Probably the number one thing that people love the Jibby for is the fact that it is self-propelled at height. This machine is up to 9.5 meters, the 16 meter one is up to 9 meters, and it is self-propelled on a slope up to 15 degrees inclination. That means that you're up in the air, you're working on a lamppost, you need to work on the next one, you do not need to come back down. You can simply drive it up to the next one, even if you are on a slope. So all the jibbies that we have are extra stability, yeah. but fast moving. Exactly.